September 16, 1921. Last night, Eugene Studlin's corpse came to the Studlin's from France, where it has been buried three years. Today, Goodwin, Oli, and Papa went down to Studlin's. They were going to look at the remains. There were only his bones. It must have been an awful feeling. They identified his teeth and their fillings, his hair. There was only one small lock left on his skull. Part of his skull was missing. The part presumable where he got the fatal shot from a machine gun. Goodwin picked off some of his hair, which was divided among some. Goodwin showed us some of it. Light with a golden tint to it. Very fine, which his was. And he had the same trousers of a heavy texture which Goodwin recognized. Also, the metal dog tag with his name on. Poor Eugene, it's awful to think, but a blessed feeling to know that his bones are resting on good old U.S. Molen Township soil. September 17th. I passed our good old clubhouse this Saturday evening, standing vacant and forlorn. I thought of all our good times, never any more there. They are over. The spirit and the crowd are gone. I was thinking of Eugene Studling to be buried tomorrow after being dead three years and buried over in France. This is his first and last Saturday night at home since he left for the training camps. And I thought of all the Saturday nights he had spent in the clubhouse, always smiley and jolly and always present to make a good time. I've had many a good laugh and dance with him. Now he goes to his final resting place. September 18th. Eugene's funeral was today. A lovely day. Goodwin went down to Studlin's at one o'clock. He was to be one of the pallbearers. He had his soldier uniform on. We all went down to the church at two. After a while, the cars were streaming in and we went into the church hall. The church started to get packed. The bell started to toll. The hearse come in the yard. The hall was very impressive and sad. The nice gray hearse backed up to the entrance. The firing squad lined up on both sides of the walk. A big U.S. flag was raised. Then the pallbearers in uniform carried in the coffin. The funeral march was played. It was hard to see for tears. I tried to realize it was Eugene, but the bones come before me. But it was his bones. The minister had the same viewpoint of the war as we all had, saying he couldn't see what it was for about the people not having any say as to having this war, but had to supply the army of sons to suit the whims and notions of the millionaires and autocrats of Europe. But he hoped some would come from it. The quartet sang the last song. The coffin was carried out. The firing squad shot three times, then the bugle, and the coffin was lowered. Goodwin was with his pal Eugene to the very last. They were drafted at the same time, went to war at the same time, shot at the same time. Goodwin being wounded in the arm, Eugene's dead. It was a grand funeral, and Eugene's mourners and friends that could be there were there. He's gone but not forgotten.